What's up, fellas? How's it going? I'm Matt here with Hydra Entertainment. We're back with some more Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Uh, it's kind of dark right now. Yeah, okay, a little bit. Um, so I've been doing some stuff off screen or whatever, off recording or whatever. But I didn't do any missions. I just went and uh, I, I cleared out Havana. <laughs> oh, I'll fall off. Yeah, I went and got all the collectibles because I'm going to do that anyways and it's real tedious. So I just went and did it, you know, off, you know, camera or whatever you want to call it. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, just continue with where we left off and uh, let's have some fun. And don't mind these bodies. They were there when I got here. I didn't do it. Buenos dias. Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Si, sí, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. Wow. Just the one gate, huh? Well, thank you for not, uh, not calling me fat. <laughs> you need to open both gates. That's pretty bad. Assassin? Si, Duncan Walpole. Quit staring at me. Everyone, you look look the same. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are dumb? I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry? My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah. Quite. She called you devilishly handsome. <laughs> Obviously, a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> Julianne, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. <sighs> Julianne Ducat. I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? The old man isn't ready just yet. Then I let's have it. You've got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan. So handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like. Get a feel for it. All right. Here's a simple challenge. Try to strike every target before this hourglass empties. Remember... Hit every target within the allotted time. Give me a little bit of ammo. Make sure it's all reloaded. Duncan, where are your wrist blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill equipped. Ah, damaged sadly beyond all repair. Uh -huh. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? I did not find them. I took them. These are souvenirs. Mm -hmm. Two blades, as is the custom, eh? Custom, aye. Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration of your techniques? Well, uh... We must. <laughs> We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. 
would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly uh, show you what I know. Here. You see, the situation is well suited to your skills. Have a go. Let's go. The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. <laughs> what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's, or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados... <laughs> Anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how <laughs> is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she, uh, here? In Havana? Well, but I wouldn't know. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless, but free men. Or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine NASA would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Best of luck with that. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Grandmaster Torres! Mr. Duncan Walpole has arrived. Let's see. We were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir. I was. Incredible. The assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but... Not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. Ooh, that bald guy just stole his drink. He gonna go pee in it. Such continental company. England, France, Spain. Citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now. The secret and true legislatures of the world. Please, hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide our wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. To guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cool. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. Where's his brain? Decades ago, the Council entrusted me with the task of locating in these West Indies a forgotten place our precursors once called the Observatory. See here. Look upon these images and commit them to memory. They tell a very old and important story. For two decades now, I have endeavored to locate this observatory, a place rumored to contain a tool of incredible utility and power. It houses a kind of armillary sphere, if you like. A device that would grant us the power to locate and monitor every man and woman on Earth, whatever their location. Only imagine what it would mean to have such a power. With this device, there would be no secrets among them. No lies, no trickery. So all I do is kill all three of these guys right here. That guy back there. We must take it. Game will be over. Do we know its whereabouts? We will soon. For in our custody is the one man who does. A man named Roberts. Once called the Sage. It has been 45 years since anyone has seen a true Sage. Can you be sure this one is authentic? We are confident he is. The assassins will come for him. Mm -hmm. 
indeed they will. But thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet the sage for yourselves. Until then, let us drink. <laughs> Just stole it right then and there. Let us find the observatory together. For with its power, kings will fall, clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. Tomorrow, the treasure fleet arrives, and with it, your reward. After which, we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to it. Excelente. Meet me down at the first thing tomorrow morning. Sure thing. The real question is, how many people am I going to kill along the way? At the docks near the Castillo. First thing tomorrow morning. Good morning, Duncan. Just over here. Edward! Hello, Edward! Shut up. I found a man to purchase my remaining sugar. Huh? Quite a coup, I must say. He just called you Edward. Oh, that's the merchant who sailed me here. Out of caution, I gave him a false name. Ah, well done. We'll catch up on it later. Very punctual, Duncan. This way. Here he is. A man both Templars and assassins have sought for over a decade. I am told your surname is Roberts. Is this so? He ain't gonna say nothing. Is this? According to old tales, the blood of a sage is required to enter the observatory. We have the key. Now we need only its location. Perhaps Mr. Roberts will be good to provide it. Transfer him to my residence. I don't want to fall off. Such a fuss over one man. Is the observatory really such a grand prize? The observatory was a tool built by the precursor race. Its worth is without measure. Precursor race? I see. One of your early letters mentioned a desire to kill the Mayan mentor, Atabai. Were you able to carry out this contract before coming here? I... I was not, no. Too many complications along the way. A pity. But the much you delivered with the blood vial will see that job finished. Aye. That's the idea. I don't like this route, Torres. We're exposed. Something is wrong. Stay close, Grandmaster. I feel it too. Do not let them get their hands on the sage, at whatever cost. Assassins! Above! Watch the streets and alleys. They could be anywhere. Boom! He did, he did. Oh, I'm going to sleep. He did. 
He dead. He's dead. Tackle the sage from above. You're a nimble one, I'll give you that. Come on. Hang back and make this easy on both of us, mate. Attack, but he's just too fast. Quiet. We'll see him to the prisons, Grandmaster. Double the watch. Well, I'll be buggered. What an active day we've had, Chance. See, him. set on our sides by our enemies, we must be more cautious. I do wish I could remain to see our drama done, but I must avail myself of these winds <laughs> and sail. Our means cap and speed, and fortune too. With luck. Turn myself a governor, and with my idiot king's blessing, no less. Adios. As for you, Mr. Walpole, I consider this the first payment in a long term investment. Gracias. Money. Online. I would like you to be present for the interrogation tomorrow. Call around noon. Yes, sir. One thousand reals for those maps. That's what? A hundred pound at most. How's a man supposed to become rich in these times with a miser like Torres running the world? Have you ever, um, have you ever worked on a plantation before? You know what I'm thinking? I'd like to see this observatory the governor's going on about. He said it were like a device that could follow people around and show where they were. <laughs> a ludicrous idea. Imagine my wife with such an advantage over me. Imagine what a thing like that would be worth. Sell that to the right person, and I'd be the richest pirate privateer in the West Indies. I'll catch you up on it. There's a sage in that house I must speak to in private. Come back here. Let's stay out of combat. Ooh. 
Come here, little puppy. I'll look at that, huh? Always enjoy free ammo. Oh, there's something bad happened. Oh man. Los profetas solían producirse en el mar cuando los piratas se enteraban de las rutas. Oh, I'm not even anybody up here. Not that one. Ooh, that was close. Come on, little buddy. Oh, 
Well, that's, uh, he's already dead, guys. Already a whole bunch of dead guys. Wow, that's how you found out. What is your true name, rogue? It's, uh... Captain Pissoff. Rien que pauvre Pison. Where is this sage? Did you set him free? I had nothing to do with that. Much as I wish I did. Take him to the ports. Send him to Sevilla with the treasure fleet. Oh, wait now! I delivered your treasures, didn't I? You did, yes. But you robbed us of Duncan Walpole. <laughs> I got him both. A despicable display. This Tusspot is a ruined man, Caroline. Unfit for life on land, much less at sea. If he goes to the West Indies, it's you who'll suffer. Father! Father! Come, love. Up with you now. That old muckworm! He's wrong about me! I hope it's so. You believe me, don't you? Can you not see me? Standing out there on the deck of a ship that's sliding into port. And there I am, a man of quality. With a thousand doubloons spilling from my pockets. Like drops of rain. I can see it. You hungry? Now what's your plan, mate? Find the weapon and steal the ship. Que Dios nos ayude. No me gusta la pinta de esa tormenta que se acerca. Parece que se está desviando al oeste, hacia el Golfo. Quizá estemos a salvo. I don't need to get that one. Yeah, come on back here. Nothing is, nothing is going to hurt you. Oh, gotcha. Surprise. All right. To my gear. We're still in the bridge. Hey, take what you need. Won't be a minute. Ooh, what is this? <coughs> there we go. There's many prisoners held on this ship. <coughs> and they'll sail with us, no question. So that's the idea then. Free what men we can. Then find a fast ship to flee it. Aye, there's a brig in the fleet. I'll make my way to it. Oh, 
Come on over here, bud. Buddy, ah, how about kick him off the edge? Jump. <laughs> Good to know that this game's still pretty buggy. There's a catch to this favor. You're sailing with me. I follow you to hell for this, mate. Free prisoners. See why can't they, they do what we did? There's three of them, there's only two of us. Have them left alive. There's a brig nearby just waiting for us to take her.
Hey, buddy. Goodbye, buddy. Hi, friends. Yeah, they're dead. Free your prisoners. We're going topside. Be ready. <laughs> I put him on his keister. It's my ship now. Lay aboard, lads. Save your singing for Davy Jones and Jagabats. It's a hard wind coming. The man speaks through you lot way anger. As for the rest, half on the foremast and half at the main. Let's outrun this hurricane. Oh, there's a hurricane coming. We're staying back. See, they don't give us trouble. They won't. Far too slow for this weather. Orders you think wise, mate. We're up against it here. These men know their place. They'll see us home. Fire! Weakest ah! right there, come in! Fire! They're on the ball. Fire! Fire! We're ready, sir! Oh. Rogue way! That wave done took him out. Oh! Water spout! What? Steer clear of that thing! Where? Straight ahead. Couldn't see it, then I saw it, and it was almost too late. Directly into the wind. It's not looking good. Steady as she goes, man. We will be dragged down 
<laughs> Dang, that was that was really close. Roadway to Larbon. Boom! Come on, come on. Another water spout. Go left, go left, go left! That one was hard to get around. <clears throat> we spoke! We made it! Yay! God, we pulled this one straight from the teeth of Neptune. <laughs> I'm Edward. Much thanks for your aid back there. Adewale. You ever been to Nassau, Adewale? Not yet. Dolphin. Oh my God, she took some knocks, didn't she? I think I'll keep her. All hands off, lads! Taking this one home. Who's a little bitty shit? I've made my choice, Adam. Calling her the Jackdaw. A sly bird I loved as a child back in Swan. A dark little creature, no? Did it rub you wrong when I took this brick as my own? <laughs> it was the sort of rub I have learned to enjoy. Among faces of such fairness. That's true. Most of these men wouldn't accept you as a captain. So what fair role would complement such unfairness? I'll be your quartermaster. Nothing less. All right. And as quartermaster, have you any immediate counsel for this Tyro captain? Rest and repast would do us good before Nassau. Water for drinking. Hunting for food and repairs. Well reasoned, sir. Hunting, it shall be. Water for drinking? Why oh, not rum? <laughs> Spied a few items in the hold earlier. Powder and a few pistols. I think I'll fashion a second holster if I can. <laughs> it's a good start. One you find laughable. Could we talk a moment about the condition of the ship? What's the trouble? I had a walk about the gun deck this morning and couldn't stand for what I saw. A clutter of linen stocks heaped like tinder. And one with a slow match, still burning. Christ. And just nearby, two barrels of gunpowder, closer than man and wife. Fit to explode at the touch of a spark. We'll stow ours good and proper. As for the cannons, they might as well be tossed. Clogs touch holes in need of scraping, corrosion on the bodies, barrel swabs as naked as knives, and breech ropes so rotted, I could use them for knitting yarn. The short of it is, 
We need good equipment kept in fine condition. But we cannot win every battle with snares and sh**. So worry about your own armaments when it suits you. But don't forget about your jackdaw. No, indeed. We'll make it a point to keep this ship and its crew in fine condition. You can't forget about the jack now. Missed. Other hooks tight. We're ready, sir. Fire! Reload. Won't miss next time. Beat the quarters! You really want to do this? Yay! <laughs> Alright. The other ship's still around, they want to still around. Get up those shrouds, let's move! As much sail as you can! Crowd on all the sail we have! Best have quiet a while. All your work! Shoot and go on now. The area has assassinated a kitty cat. Got them both. Ahoy, Captain. Find what you need. My needs and wants are oceans apart, mate. But I did fashion myself a new holster. 
All I need now is a pistol to lie in it. Yeah. Taken from the holds, just as you said. A little more than a blowpipe. But they'll do it. So, are we rested? Or should we idle a while longer? Best way, Anka. I think the crew is itching to reach civilization. We find no civilization in NASA. But it's a fine place to be merry all the same. <laughs> Queer nubs. Tell me I'm under arrest. Tell me! Damn your breads. Fly away, boy -o. Back to your master. Aye. We was privateers together before the wars ended. I'll see you ashore. fellers that's gonna be it for this episode here of course more than likely I'm gonna you know go through and get all this stuff here if I can that's a big place Nassau is pretty pretty big a lot of stuff to get so I'll probably take care of that off screen or whatever hmm. Yeah, we'll be back to do more missions. And, yeah. So, with that being said, make sure to like, subscribe, and always remember to Hail Hydra.